on to another part of fucking Mountain Bike Adrenaline, in which we're doing Hawaii next. And, uh, I thought that the part we did beforehand, the Alps, was the one where it gets all weird and fucky. No, it's, it's this. This is the one with all the weirdness and shit. And also, you can tell this is shown in the last part as well, which means that I'm basically giving you, you know, the gist of things. However, when it comes to uniquely looking fucking maps, this is the most uniquely looking one of all of them. Because the majority of the fucking map is a volcano. I'm gonna be playing this right over here called Tom. He has the best stats and power and concentration. And to me, that's the best thing I can have right now. So, Hawaii. Uh, it's honestly in design, like, how it looks, it's really fucking cool, but it's also a fucking nightmare to get around, because there's lava about, and this lava is a one-hit kill bastard. If you touch it, you end up either going back, or you end up having to restart the entire challenge all over again, which is usually what's going to happen to you. It's a prick. And there's a lot of lava about. And not only that, there are certain paths that you have to take in order to uh, get across the lava at times. And the game is going to try and make us do that, and it's going to be terrible. And not only that, but there's a lot of rocks around the fucking, you know, volcano area, so you can also get a bit stuck as well. There's some weird jumps you gotta do as well. The jumping here is awkward as, and it's not fun at all. It has a really nice sunset thing here, though. I will say that much, but otherwise... Hawaii is a pain in the ass to get through. However, you know, I have been getting better, and I am removing all the mistakes, so... Luckily, you're not seeing one of these where I take, like... 10 fucking minutes to get through because of the fact that the game kept fucking me due to either losing too much health from all the bullshit landings and such the game kept giving me or getting fucked by the volcano and all the lava and shit because I eventually have to get across the lava and it's gonna be hell to do because of the fact that the way the pathing works makes everything very slow and awkward and you don't really have that kind of time to, you know, be that slow here because of it. It fucks you. It really does. And you won't realize it until way later when you realize that the ending goal is, like, across two fucking lava lines that you have to go through a few bridges across from, which takes a long fucking time to do. Or, you have to climb up the fucking volcano itself, which is hard to do and takes a lot of time as well, to get around that shit, only to then get fucked over by the lava once again, or to end up in a spot that's very much not very useful at all. Which we will be put into forcefully at least one or twice in this fucking level with one of the challenge modes. It, it sucks. It sucks so hard. And it's, it's gonna be a pain in the ass to get through. But for the most part, oh, by the way, that hill right there fucks me sometimes. Because sometimes you just go up it and you bump on it. You bump on it and you can't control that bump. And you end up losing all your speed sometimes and getting stuck. You can't move at that point. I've had that happen multiple times. It's dumb. There are so many spots in this map alone where you can easily get your bike stuck indefinitely unless you restart or respawn back. Because the way the fucking geometry is made with how high it is and how much room you have and such can fuck you. Can easily fuck you. And you can't get out of it. It's just... It's really bad how these maps are designed. And like I said, Last Level of the Alps was the best designed one because 
it's the one that feels the most fun, I guess. That doesn't fuck you over the most. And, uh, you know... It can be enjoyable. Whereas, even though Hawaii looks like it could be fun, once you get into it, you you start to hate Hawaii. You start to hate this map because it sucks. And also, really good representation of Hawaii here in that the one defining trait of Hawaii they went with is that it has a volcano. And it's active right now. They didn't go for much on the tropics and the beach and such. No. They went with the majority of the map being a fucking volcano. So that's just great. Also, there are fences around here that... You know, the way the trail works, you wouldn't realize on that crap until way later. I still got the gold there despite being a bale there and almost losing all my health too. You know? It's... It's awkward. The trails are still fucked. They're more fucked here in the last level too. I did beat this one without failing once though, so... I guess I am getting better at this game, but at the same time... I feel like the game is getting either shorter or easier with me as well. Because the maps aren't being as big, or at least the actual things you have to do aren't being as big as, like, the first level, essentially. Everything feels more compact, essentially, here. That's gonna kind of change with the last uh, map, the canyon, but... We'll, we'll get to that when we get to that. Right now, though, do my best here for Hawaii. And for the most part, I do well. And you get to see the trail this time. You get to see, like, this whole blue arrow trail thing. With the fucking red arrow directing me where to go and such. And yes, going up that not even steep hill at all fucking takes a lot of effort out of me. This guy has the most power in the entire game. This rider I have here is the most powerful rider in the game. And I wasted all of my power getting up a fucking mildly steep hill. Because this game is so terrible with how the hills work. It's... it's dumb. And yeah, I got stuck there too. I got stuck on a little bit of rock. Like, really? Uh. Anyway, first I was there, and then I start going backwards over to here, and I went down this way. And then I went across, grabbed that, then I went over to my right, and went all the way down. Gained probably something around here that just... Yeah, that just stopped me. Immediately takes out a bit of my health. But hey, I got one of the icons right by a whole bunch of burning fucking trees that are still on fire. The place is a fire hazard. Like, the whole fucking place of Hawaii is apparently gonna go on fire and gonna die. According to this goddamn volcano and all the fires going on. Like... How is this not fucking insulting to Hawaii? It's cool, but it's still kind of insulting because Hawaii is all about its tropics and such, and you're basically showing it all burning to the fucking abyss. Anyway, funnel downhill, and with all those items taken care of, which in this one was, I think, the least fun one to do, mainly because of the trail thing for the last one and all, but, um... Yeah, like, after this mode, which still the hardest of all three, and yes, it did just happen, I failed by landing. Uh, what the fuck, game? There's a lot of ways to fail in Hawaii, and it's not fun. There's a lot of ways to fail in the next one, the Grand Canyon, but... Wow. At least in that one, you know, 
it's not too much of a hassle to get around. Not in this case. Not in this fucking case. Though it doesn't have the worst fucking, like, trails and trials to deal with. Like, this one does not have the worst. The fucking canyon does. Because even though this has been the hard one, this mode here, Start Watch, has been the hard one the entire time so far, it, it hasn't gotten that bad just yet. We gotta wait until Grand Canyon to really see just how bad these modes can really get, because Grand Canyon really showcases the worst of this game. And here's the rider. See? Best power. Even though I'm pretty sure I've already been playing as him. Uh, but as you just saw, uh, that's the helmet, I mean. That's the last helmet, I think that was. And as you just saw, that was seven. That's an odd number. Whereas everybody else is on even numbers. The bikes are six bikes, and the riders are like six uh, riders, I believe. Whereas. That was seven helmets. There's more helmets in this game than there is fucking, like, bikes and riders. And yet, the helmets do nothing. The helmets are just accessories that mean nothing and are pointless and don't add to your defense or anything. They should have done that, but they didn't. And it's shit. It's honestly shit. Also, how about this? This part got me stuck for a long fucking while because it's such a pain in the ass to get across. You saw the completed one there, but getting across those 90 degree turns on a very fucking narrow plank of wood across lava? Oh god, and you only got the one chance, two of those ones, remember? If you fail once to go off the beaten path, like, a little bit, you get stuck back to the very beginning. Like... It's extremely punishing, this fucking mode. Especially in this goddamn level where the jumps aren't that good, the trials aren't good, and it just sucks. But at least here, like, this one of the jumps is easy. I can easily make these and get big ones because even though the trail is all sorts of stupid, the jumps themselves work well enough that they're close by to where it starts. But then they want you to actually start off from that jump to another plank to another plank. And the thing is, unless you know firsthand, you're gonna miss these planks a bit. There you go. Alright, so that's taken care of. Now it's time for the next dexterity challenge, which also we now have Anna, the rider. I believe we now have all the riders in the game. So we have all the helmets and all the riders, means all we have left is bikes and freedom mode. And, uh, that also means that after this part, we're not really going to be seeing special unlockables almost at all after this part. We kind of unlock everything after a Jose in Hawaii here because there's nothing else in this game that is, you know, unlockable outside of levels, outside of these challenges. Which makes me question just how much of a shit they gave about this game. Also, this game has legitimate sponsors, by the way. It got sponsorships. Like, there are companies who are willing to give the developers this fucking game money to showcase their goddamn helmets and bikes and such with the game. And quite honestly, it makes their stuff look worse. It does. It makes this stuff look worse because the bikes are not fun to play with and the helmets are pointless as shit. <laughs> it's just... It's really bad. It makes me think, how 
desperate with people for fucking mountain biking. Like, bike games were still a bit of a thing around here. Like, you had your, a bunch of PS1 games with bike games and such. You know, Matt Hoffman and all. And, you know, fucking motorbikes are still about. They're still a thing. But for some reason, like, mountain bike is such a big thing. And we had one where we go across a fucking volcano that's currently burning Hawaii to fucking smithereens and shit. Like, wow. Like, do we really need that? But yeah, like, this is... This is quite an awkward game. Oh god, this is quite an awkward game to put sponsorships on. Oh god, I hate going for this. Going for it the reverse way feels easier than going it the fucking, like, original way. And here comes jumps to... By the way, remember, remember, this is only one out of, like, two games with Solomon's name on it. The other one was like an extreme kayaking game, which I did a demo play for, and demo play only lasts like two minutes. Wow. The best they could show with their other fucking game about kayaking only lasts for like a minute or two. You barely get to experience anything of the game to make an opinion on to see if you want to buy it or not before they cut you off. If I end up finding a fucking demo of this game and I find out it's like two minutes long as well or just one minute or whatever, I'm a fucking shit. I'm a just fucking shit myself because just like, how can you be? That fucking pathetic about your own products. Also got freedom mode now. We literally got free skate mode. Which I'm not really going to show you because it's just going around these maps freely. Do whatever the fuck you want. And there's nothing else left. The main meat of the game are these three modes and freedom mode is just you know a mode they put in thinking that people are going to come back to these maps and just ride around them and experience the greatness of hawaii or the alps or fucking grand canyon when in reality after they beat this game and do all the challenges and all that shit and go through all four maps they don't want to fucking play this game ever again they hate this fucking game because it's not good and neither is this challenge right here at the tricks because this trick challenge sucks. Not only do you have to do all this shit, but you also have to do it in between the rings here that they give you. If you don't, you fuck yourself. And also you have to get 800 points on this one too. That's about that many points on to get this. So you have to grab your points up as well while doing all these tricks and jumps and shit. And the problem is, some of these jumps are not that good. In which, you sometimes won't even make the distance, despite the fact you're going fast and you're making a big jump. Because the game just sort of slows you down for no good reason. So yeah, I made it through all of these, but what you didn't see is me failing this about five times. Because I could not make the last jump because the game just wouldn't give me the right speed to get across the fucking thing. It was terrible. Anyway, now we're done with these two modes, which were actual pains in the ass of this one. It's now time for one that is still piss easy. So... I guess we'll check out the rider, see what we unlocked. Yeah, she has a bit more power, she's like average, but she also got good recovery. In all honesty, she's kind of in the middle zone. Like, she's kind of like the average on the stats. At the same time, like, not really.
Anyway, I'm gonna play as her anyway because she has the best concentration, like, and all that shit. She has the best survival rate. And we'll be needing that for Arcade because... The jumps here, even though they're helpful, still fuck me. Like, it's not fun to make these kinds of jumps. And this hill here, at the very start of this one, is the best hill to go on for this sort of bullshit. Even though, there's a good chance you can hurt yourself very easily at random. There's no rhyme or reason to why you got hurt. The game just dictates you got hurt from it. And yeah, I now have like 5,000 points. There's also this hill right here, which does hurt you. And then I drop into a fucking like tree. And I take damage from that as well, I think. So, yeah. And that failed to get the rest of my health almost. So there you go. Fails do hurt you at this point now, but the worst part is going to be the landings. It's going to be landing your tricks. And now we're over here, which is a terrible fucking spot to get any points in because not only is it jagged as shit, but all of these little bumps don't actually help you much when it comes to getting those points. And also you're at a greater risk of losing health for every landing. But you can actually kind of mitigate that fucking damage from happening if you restart as soon as you land. If you do that, you can end up avoiding the damage. And also, I now have no fucking health left. Do you even see a health bar now? That is the closest death I've ever gotten, and I was just like, I'm done with this. I'm gonna take my score and go home. Time out. Time out. Oh my god, that, that was the, that was a very risky move on my part. And I believe I have now gone the last bike. So, we're gonna check out all of these, like, in the next part, in the final part, might I say. Because, we only have the one map left after this, and that's going to be the Grand Canyon. And after you beat the Grand Canyon, that really is going to be it for the game. The game isn't that long. It'll take you a few hours. And while it is a pain in the ass, it's not the worst. It's not the hardest. Like, there are worse games out there for PC and shit than this shit. But it's still crap. This game is still bad. It's still not fun. It still upsets me to no end that... A game this poorly made could really exist with sponsorships and all. And that it would kind of get a sort of spiritual sequel of kayaking. Or maybe it is a sequel to the kayaking game, in a sense. I don't know which one came first. All I do know is they both exist. They're both Solomon games. I think they're both the same developers, even. And the same engine, maybe. And, quite honestly, they both kind of suck. And they're not fun to play. Extra credit. Will I end up doing the kayaking one eventually? <sighs> Probably. I mean, I always end up playing one of those play games eventually, right? So... At some point, I'm probably going to end up playing the kayaking one and not having much fun of it. And it will even be the first game I ever play that's based on kayaking. Also, how's this for exploring the fucking point system? This is fucking insane. I could go on for this 
all of my life I wanted to. But I'm not going to. I'm going to save my 7,000. I'm going to go ahead and get this key shit out of the way. Because it's one where the portal, like the way to the ring, is right where this volcano is. And it's a pain in the ass because the key is down here at the beach area. Which means two options. Either I go through an obnoxiously bad path across all the lava and shit, or I ignore that shit, I climb the volcano all the way back up to where I started almost, go around the shit, and, you know, get the fucking ring that way. I tried the path one, and the lava and the winners, the jumps, and everything just did not make it worth it to continue on with that. So I climbed the fucking mountain. I climbed the volcano. And I went my own path of this shit. I went this way. With all of it. Going across all the rocks. And just trying to get stuck in everything. And just bypassing the whole lava trail thing. It sucked. Because I kept getting stuck. But I made it across. And eventually, I made it all the way to that ring, even though I didn't end up dying over here, which sucked. But then I was over here, and I decided to just keep climbing. And yeah, I was right out of time, and I lost about a thousand points. It didn't matter to me, because eventually I got across, and I got to the ring, which is over on this side right here. And guess what? I had bold enough points to deal with this shit. My only problem was the fucking timer. And now it's time for the extreme trick and runs, which... I said last time those were the closest, but I was wrong because I forgot how close this one is. Also, just jumping here... Gives me monster jumps. I'm sorry, I'm just saddened by all of this. I generally do not like any of this crap. And yeah, like, here's the first key. The ring is across here, across some pathing with fences and such. Very easy to get to, and as soon as I get to this ring, guess where the key is? Right next to me. It's just right in front of me. So, I grabbed the key, and now the portal is across from there. Yeah. Honestly, the pathings here are shorter and easy to deal with. Which might fucking explain why the point requirements here are actually kind of smaller than the Alps ones. Because they don't give you that much time to fuck around. And now comes this one, where the second exit fucking ring, the second ring, is right behind you. So I keep getting my monster points, and eventually I go over to get the key. And this whole path is, I guess, supposed to be like a circuit in a sense, but it's just not good. None of these maps are good. None of these challenges really are good in their execution or in their concept sometimes. And it's just not fun to play. But you know what? After this, we're playing the Grand Canyon. We're going to beat this game 100%. So at the very least, it's almost over. So, yeah, the key's right there, and we all know where the portal is, right behind me at the very beginning, which is not that far away either, so yeah, this is easier than the fucking Alps with where they are. It's, it's sad. It's, it's genuinely sad how bad this is. And there you go. So that's the fucking Hawaii map, which, good luck Hawaii with your fucking fires. Much like Australia. Anyway.
Next time, in the final parts of Mountain Bike Adrenaline, we're going to the Grand Canyon, and we're going to end this fucking game once and for all. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time for that.